Hello everyone, Jim from Ohio here, and we're out in the garden again, and I wanted to show everybody a pest that's very common to tomatoes, and if you don't get it under control, they will literally devour your entire tomato plants. And I'll show you the way that we've learned to uh, combat, or at least locate, the plant, uh, these pests. Uh, so here's what I'm seeing with one of our cherry tomato plants. Um, you notice that this stalk right here has no leaves and it's kind of cut off at the end. And then over here, uh, same thing. There are no leaves and we've got several places where it looks like something's been chewing on this branch. And then we've got the same thing over on this branch. You notice that uh, there are no leaves and uh, something's been chewing there and following this up. There are literally no leaves on the top of this branch. Uh, this is something commonly you'll see with tomato plants and it's really hard to figure out what's going on. Well, there is a very, very camouflaged pest and I'm actually pointing the camera directly at one of them. Uh, it may be very hard to see, but if you look right here, there's a great big fat horned worm. Uh, they, they are very difficult to spot. And let me kind of pull the plant up and you see what he looks like. Um, it's just a very green worm. He's got white stripes down the side and then on the very end There's a spike or a horn that's known as a tomato horned worm and They will literally devour your tomato plants if you don't locate them and uh, Pick them off now some people will uh, just kill the worm uh, if you let this go, it will eventually turn into a very uh, pretty moth that uh, is a pollinator. And so we don't like killing them unless we absolutely have to. Uh, normally we'll grow an extra tomato plant that we refer to as a sacrificial plant. And when we find these, we'll move these worms over to that sacrificial plant and let them live out their lives and we're not really concerned about that particular uh, tomato plant. But uh, this is a big worm and he's a little easier to spot when you know what to look for. But let's move to the other side of this plant and I'll show you we've got another one that's over here and uh, actually two of them. Uh, if you look right here, there is a smaller version of that worm. And if we look right over here, uh, there is another one that's uh, kind of middle size from the difference in the small one versus the large one. And uh, so we've got three of them right here. Now, to make it easier to find these things, what we've learned is we've got a flashlight, and I'll, live, I'll, I'll post a link down in the video description below where you can order one of these. But this is a special flashlight. It, ha it is an LED flashlight, but it's a black light flashlight. And what this, what this enables you to do is you can come out at nighttime and you can shine this flashlight onto the tomato plant and these worms will actually glow, making them much easier to find or spot the worms so that you can take care of them. And so what I'm gonna do is shine the light and you'll notice right here in front of us when I shine uh, the black light, you see how those hornworms light right up. Uh, that's one of them right there. And then I found one over on this tomato plant right here. See how that worm just lights up under the black light. Here's another one right here. It's a little bit smaller than the last one. 
So I'm going to go ahead and pick these off. Now these worms, even though they've got that spike on the tail, um, they won't sting you. Uh, they won't bite you or anything like that. But some people do have difficulty just grabbing that worm and pulling it off. So what we like doing is once we locate them, uh, like this one right here, what we typically will do is come down just below that worm and we'll just break off this little branch and then move the entire branch uh, either to the sacrificial plant or wherever you're going to dispose of the worm. Uh, right now we've got a bunch of bluebirds uh, with babies in the nest and what we've been doing this year since we didn't grow a sacrificial plant, uh, we're just taking these and putting them on the ground near our bluebird houses and letting the bluebirds feed their young with it. Uh, but uh, that's about it. I'll go ahead and take care of these off camera and um, we'll get rid of these three and then we'll search all of our other tomato plants tonight. As a matter of fact, I've got uh, this one I looked at last night and we do have some worms on it. I've got, uh, you can probably see this great big worm right here. Uh, I found him last night and over on this stalk right here, there are actually two worms that are next to each other, one right here and one right there. So like I said, with the flashlight, they're very, very easy to spot. And uh, it is important that you try to get rid of those as soon as you do spot them because uh, it, in just literally one day, uh, you'd, you'd be really surprised at how much these things will eat and devour off of your tomato plants. So that's all with this video. This is Jim with Jim Jenny, Ohio. I hope you've learned something and um, good luck and enjoy your holiday uh, weekend. The 4th of July is tomorrow and I hope everybody has a safe and happy uh, uneventful uh, holiday. Take care. Bye-bye.